Kid, what about the fight? How do you see this playing out? <laughs> oh man, I see this. Uh, I see this as a, a easy money for for Money Mayweather <laughs> for sure. Easy money. Easy money. What does that mean exactly? I need specifics as it pertains to this fight. Are you talking about a knockout? Are you talking embarrassment for 12 rounds? What are you talking about? I don't want to see 12 rounds of this. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want to see no dancing. I want to see... When it's 25 I want to see time. somebody get... I want to see, you know, Floyd put this dude to school, showing what, where he, you know, put him back in his place, which is in the M oh. MMA ring. Put him back in his in place. In the octagon. And uh, school him for a few rounds and then knock him down, then knock him out. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, I got nothing to add. That's, that's what's going to happen. Ice Cube just told you what's going to happen. So, so, you know, there you have it. Have you contemplated the possibility that some kind of miracle could happen and, and, and uh, I mean, divine intervention or something and, and, he, and, and McGregor lucks up with a punch, at least staggers or hurts Floyd Money Mayweather? Have you contemplated <laughs> that miracle possibly happening? I mean, I believe in God, for sure. <laughs> right. But God ain't going to be in that ring with, uh, <laughs> with McGregor. <laughs> it's going to be Floyd in the ring with McGregor, and he ain't got no love. Mm. He's going to put him through hell, as it turns out. See what yeah. I did there? See what yes. I did there, Stephen? Right. It all comes right. what, round, what round do you call the knockout? Fifth. Fifth? Oh, earlier Fifth, than six, the guys. Seventh. I think right. Floyd's going to want to put on a little show first. Yeah, that's five, you know, five rounds of put a little sweat on. <laughs> did you feel, did you vibe with Floyd where he felt like, Conor McGregor was disrespectful and unappreciative and all of this other stuff, and he's got a real problem with this dude. Were you, were you feeling that way yourself, watching the promotion of this fight? Yeah, I was, but that's how Conor's supposed to be. You're not, it's a fight. You're not supposed to respect the dude you're fighting. I don't like that. You know, you can uh, respect his skills, but promote a fight, go in there, get us interested, and let us see a real fight. Cube, mm -hmm. do you respect the, the promotion, though, in the set, or the event in the sense that it's like the big three, it's kind of entrepreneurs thinking out of the box, right? Yeah. It's, it's not a competition on the highest possible world class level that way, but it's a big yeah. event where everyone's having fun and it's kind of outside the box thinking because that's what the big three is in a way. Well, you know, the big three is, you know, straight up competition. What we all uh, yearn and churn for, you know, we, we see, uh, you know, these all-star games and we don't see no real competition. Mm -hmm. the big I don't three, mean to say it's not competitive. I mean, like, it's fun in the sense that this is the, the champion doesn't mean they're the best basketball players in the world. It means these are guys you know who are, who are in, in this big event. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's all about going for it. You know, that's what we watch sports for. It's not always about seeing um, the, the tip top or the cream of the crop because sometimes they don't give it to you. Mm -hmm. It's all about seeing raw competition. Sometimes you can see a better basketball game in the park you can see on TV. No so. question.